We're here in Cabramatta in the middle of summer, mind you, to talk rugby league. It is a beautiful day and what a great day it is to live the dreams of George Tonner. And he's starting up the Physical Disability Rugby League. Barefoot Rugby League show is here to check it out and watch these guys play their very first game of the greatest game of all. Must be a proud day for you, George. Your dream's finally realised. Yes, it is. Um, this came about a year ago I went to play rugby league. Always loved rugby league, but I couldn't play myself because of my disability. And um, yeah, I said, why not try to organise a competition for the disabled, for the physical disabled. What are the types of physical disability we're talking about for the people who might be interested in playing? Well, it has to be um, upper or lower amputees, cerebral palsy but ambulant, they can't be in a wheelchair or walking frame. You have to run, walk, um, anything physically limitating, limitating the body. We want to try and make it as much as rugby league as we can. Um, the first half we tried tag, and the second half we played um, uh, tackle slash tag. Um, pretty much the attacking team, they have uh, one, one knock-on per team, so they have to knock the ball off for any reason. That's deemed as one tackle or one tag and then they play the ball. Um, the more, if you play in the tag situation, the more ambulant you are, the more tags you have. Um, and of course, where, where you kick the goal, where you, where you score the try is where you kick the goal. Within five years, I hope to have a full first disabled comp in the world run by disabled people. That's my dream. Here with one of the stars of today, David Gretsch. Gretsch, did you love it out there? Oh, it was heat, TK. I've been waiting like years to say league, and I dreamt about it for ages, and the apps were happening, so yeah. Have a look at those abs. You must be, you no wonder the trainer's paying off for you. They're yeah, good abs. Uh, <laughs> yeah, hard training, because I want to be one of the best, so yeah. I want to you know, to work in the bit, and um, yeah. You're watching on TV and think about playing and you wish you could play. And now, like, you spend all that time kicking at the park and now I can put it into, like, reality. So, yeah, it's good. Like any young boy, he wants to be like everyone else, be able to play football, tackle, you know, get girls, all that sort of stuff that young guys do. He likes, I think he likes the impact and the, and the, um, you know, the camaraderie and all that sort of thing. Uh, he's a pretty determined kid. The more you tell him he shouldn't do something, the more he wants to do it. So, you know, more power to him. I saw you on the sideline really trying to take notice of the, the rules that were on today. It is important that we do get it right for this league to go forward. It is. I mean, um, today was more of an experiment um, to see how they could adapt to the rules and what we need to modify so it becomes user-friendly for these special need kids. And I think we've come away with a, a few lessons and we'll put them into practice and have a talk with George Tonner on the committee and see what we can come up with. What they see on TV they want to produce here and they did it, especially some of those hits out there today as well. We're seeing history crowded today. The first exhibition match for the Physical Disability Rugby League and these guys can be very proud of their achievements today. Fingers crossed we get to see this league up and running in 2011. I, for one, will be out supporting these guys. They're truly inspirational. Go, 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 go. Deadly, deadly, deadly. <laughs>